Hey everybody, VR Gaming Fan here. So, Oculus keeps being slimy, and Valve keeps being amazing. Oculus went to the makers of the new Serious Sam game and offered them, quote, a shit ton of money to make the game exclusive only to the Rift. People at Serious Sam told them to go pound salt. The game will be open platform. When the people at, at Sirius Sam revealed what Oculus had done, Oculus initially denied it. And then they backpedaled and they said, we just offered them some money to help them finish the game, which they didn't need. So that part was bullshit. For a timed exclusive, which is also bullshit. They wanted a completely exclusive game. They just lied like they always do. But on that specific point about exclusive games, let's talk about Valve. Now, we know that Valve doesn't like exclusive games and hasn't been trying to lock any games in to be exclusive, but it goes further than that. Valve actually offers companies money to not make their games exclusive. They hate exclusive games so much. They think they are so harmful to the gaming industry that they actually offer developers who are having financial difficulties finishing their games. They offer them money to help them finish their games with the proviso that if we give you this money you don't make the game exclusive, that the game has to work for everyone. So not only has Oculus, for free, at their own cost, expanded their chaperone system to cover other hardware platforms like the Rift, so that people can attempt to do room scale and therefore play room scale games using hardware platforms other than their own HTC Vive. They are now giving money to game developers, one, to make sure the games get finished so that there are more games available, and two, to make sure those games are never locked in to just one hardware platform. So there are more games available for more hardware platforms so that it is more fair, it is more open. That is just amazing. I mean, Valve is really, really taking VR seriously. I am so impressed. Now, a charge that I've seen leveled about the Vive, not necessarily at Valve, but at the Vive, is that there are exclusive games for the, for the Vive, specifically any game that involves motion controllers or VR. Right now, the only equipment that does room scale and has motion controllers is the Vive, but that's no fault of Valve or of HTC. It's not their fault that they came out with the most capable hardware first. Down the road, other hardware platforms are going to be able to do room scale, are going to have motion controllers. Valve was making sure that their chaperone system will be usable with other hardware platforms specifically so that as new hardware platforms become available they will be able to play the already existing and uh, future released uh, room scale and motion tracked games. So when someone says something like Fallout 4 is a Vive exclusive, no it's not a Vive exclusive. Right now the Vive is the only hardware that can handle it but it's not a Vive exclusive. If you get the, the touch controllers, if and when those ever come out, they still don't have an announced date, but if you get the touch controllers and the second camera and you, you, know, you get an extension cable and you do all the things that you need to do in order to be able to get a reasonable room scale setup for the Rift, you can use the chaperone system that Valve is providing for free to play room scale motion tracked games on the Rift. The new headset that is coming out, they're on their second dev kit for Razer. 
Now, Razer doesn't have any controllers whatsoever included with it, but it's not locked in. It's, it's being made as an open platform, so basically you can use any motion controllers you want. So you can use the Vive motion controllers or the Touch motion controllers, or you can use the Razer, I forget the name of them, the Razer has had motion controllers for a long time. You can use theirs. The Sixth Sense motion controllers or the Glove One hand tracking, anything along those lines. And you can use that with their headset and do room scale. The Chaperone system will support that because the Chaperone system is being made open to support all hardware platforms. So right now, yes, the only when Fallout 4 comes out, assuming Oculus still hasn't gotten their shit together and gotten their touch controllers out, you will currently be restricted to only being able to play the official VR release of Fallout 4. They've got programs like Vorpex and things like that that allow you to play Fallout 4 now in VR using a controller. You can do that on any headset. But right now, the official Fallout 4 VR release is going to be room scale. And that means right now, the only thing you can play it on is the Vive. But that's not a permanent situation. Nor have they said they're going to be releasing any DRM or, or anything to force exclusivity to one hardware platform because they're not going to. So the idea that you know Valve or HTC or the Vive or whatever are just as bad as Oculus is just ridiculous. They are bending over backwards and spending millions of dollars to ensure that VR is open for everyone. The only company in this whole VR landscape that is doing their best to screw over VR, screw over their own customers, screw over competitors' customers, screw over competitors, and basically screw over themselves because of their incredibly bad business decisions, is Oculus. The company that unfortunately their name is synonymous with VR. And I really wish that wasn't the case. One, Oculus started out with so much promise. Myself, you know, as much as anyone, is really, really, really disappointed with the behavior of Oculus. They're the ones that got the VR ball rolling. Unfortunately, that's all they ever did. And also, just the harm it does to the public perception of VR. Regardless of how much good Valve does, and they're doing amazing things. The negative press coming from Oculus still taints the waters of the pool. So that people who are sitting on the fence, they're leery about VR. They're you know they're they're not convinced that it it's going to survive. They think it might be a gimmick, whatever. They see this crappy behavior from Oculus and and the the very appropriate backlash that they're receiving as a result of this bad behavior and it just makes them shy away from from VR and that's not good for anyone so as far as I'm concerned at this point the best thing that Oculus can do is simply go away shut their doors go out of business and just go away eventually it's going to happen anyway they keep making all these titanically bad business decisions you know, you can't keep that up forever. Eventually, they're going to fail. The sooner they do, the better it is for everyone. But as far as VR in general, apart from Oculus, it's still looking amazingly positive. And the things that Valve is doing to ensure the, the success of VR is, is simply amazing. They are really going the extra mile. I am really impressed with how Valve is handling VR. Now, I can't wait to see what else they have in store for us. Talk to you next time.